Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'll be discussing the NWSL regular season match between the Orlando Pride and the North Carolina Courage. The Pride are coming off of a regular season loss to O.L. Reign, while the Courage are coming off of a win against Racing Louisville in the Challenge Cup Final and a regular season win against the Kansas City Current. When it came to the Pride's last match against O.L. Reign, that was a particularly brutal, ma brutal match, wasn't it? <laughs> Our starting goalkeeper Anna Morehouse getting sent off early with a direct red card, the team going down to 10 players and not being able to settle into the game or gain any traction in the midfield and attack. When the match first started, it looked like there was going to be some good back and forth between the Pride and the Reign. The Pride came out with a very aggressive attack, even winning a corner in the first minute of the game. But after Morehouse was sent off, the Pride just couldn't build anything with their midfield and attack. When it comes to Morehouse's red card, it was for denying a goal-scoring opportunity on Bethany Balser. From the replay, when Morehouse came off her line, she got all Balser and no ball. <laughs> I don't really have... I don't really have an issue with Morehouse making those types of challenges and tackles. I've seen her do it many times before, and she's usually very accurate with them. It was just in the match against the rain, she mistimed it or misjudged it and caught Balser. Due to the red card, Morehouse will be missing this match against the Courage. But on the upside, the Pride still has backup goalkeeper Carly Nelson. And after a really good performance against the rain, she'll be able to help or <laughs> save the pride against the Courage. When it comes to this match against the Courage, it's definitely going to be a tough and challenging match for the pride. Every time the pride had played, the, um, played against the Courage in the past, they struggled to keep possession and control the midfield. If the pride wants to have any fighting chance against the Courage, they must keep possession and control the midfield. Not only that, they have to be more aggressive in the midfield and attack, putting pressure on the courage in the midfield and forcing turnovers. Speaking of pressure, the Pride are also needing to work on playing under pressure and also getting out of pressure. In past videos slash podcasts, I talked about the Pride needing to play with more intensity and in picking, um, picking the right moments to play or up their intensity. This team consistently does well when it comes to transitions and counterattacks. If they can apply more intensity in those areas, transitions, counterattacks, um, control the midfield and possession, the Pride should be able to challenge the Courage and create more chances for their attacking players. That all being said, let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup. 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1. We have Carly Nelson in the goal for defenders Haley McCutcheon, Hafaeli, Emily Madrill, and Kylie Strom. For midfielders, Jordan Leestrill, Michaela Clough, and Martha. And for forwards, Adriana, Julie Doyle, and Ali Watt. It's a good lineup. I definitely understand starting Clough instead of Abello for this one. Abello tends to be more attack-oriented while also providing good movement in the midfield along with good touches and services for the attacking players. Clough, on the other hand, is a good holding midfielder but is also good in the attack. She handles pressure pretty well in the midfield while also being able to fight for possession and control. I think Clough is going to be needed in this match more, um, more to provide that stability and control of the midfield. At the same time, Clough is also going to be needing support from the rest of her teammates. As for the attack, Adriana and Doyle should do well in this match, provided that the team can connect and get passes and touches up to them. I'm a little surprised to see Watts starting. I would have guessed Seb Hines would go with Messiah Bright, but bringing her fresh off the bench in the second half also makes sense too. When it comes to the Pride back line, they're definitely going to be challenged in this match, but if the Pride can collectively cut off the courage in transition and make recoveries in the midfield, it will take more pressure off the back line and allow for the Pride to make counterattacks and transitions of their own. All right, so the first half, we are off. You know, I just want the Pride to win this one. Vafel Wolfsburg won their season opener earlier today, so it would be great if the Pride could come away with a win in this one. Please, like, I'm just asking for one Pride win, or maybe more Pride wins, but just this one. Like, I just want a Pride win. 
Anyway, the Pride are in a 4-3-3 and the Courage are in a 4-2-3-1. One minute long ball up for Martha, headed away. Martha collects. Martha or Adriana brought down, no foul. Martha slips it up to Watt, making a run. Watt scores. Pride, 1-0. Good. Very good. <laughs> uh, great by Watt. Let's keep it up. Three minutes Doyle pass, taking away. Clough recovers. Good recovery from the Pride. Four minutes, great pressure from the Pride. They win back possession again. Five minutes, ball to the Pride box. McCutcheon collects. Ball up for Watt. Kick back to Courage Keeper Murphy. Six minutes, great tackle and recovery by Martha. Martha up for Adriana. Too much behind it. Kick back to the keeper. Seven minutes, Courage cross. McCutcheon heads it away. Eight minutes, Courage corner kick. Pride has to be careful with these. Ball sent in. Courage header saved by Nelson. Clough is honestly just great in the midfield. She's just handling um, pressure so well <laughs> and is just getting around the Courage players like they're nothing. <laughs> Adriana making a run, kicked away. Caroline making a run into the Pride box. Half a marking. Pride recovers. Good support in the defense. Nine minutes, ball up for Adriana. Courage collects. Ten minutes, Caroline making a run. Through ball into the Pride box. Kick back to Nelson. Eleven minutes, Courage cross goes wide. The Pride needs to stay compact. They're getting pulled out wide and gaps are starting to show in the back line. 12 minutes, Courage Cross, dangerous ball in the Pride box, frantic defending, <laughs> cleared. Courage Cross, Courage attempt goes over. 13 minutes, Adriana tries to slip it up for Martha, kicked away. Why didn't she play it over to Doyle? She was right next to her and was open. 14 minutes, ball sent into the Pride box, Nelson collects. 15 minutes, Courage running into the Pride box, kicked away by Madrill. Caroline down, fouled by Hafa, Hafa, yellow card. 16 minutes, Courage free kick outside the Pride box. Very dangerous. Short, ball sent in, Nelson catches it. Courage player down, collided with Nelson. Nelson is okay, so is the Courage player. 18 minutes, Doyle on the ball, no support, kicked away. 19 minutes, Leistro foul, I guess. Not sure what for. 20th minute, long ball to the Pride side, Nelson collects. 21 minutes, Adriana fouled, stepped on, should be a card. Hafa got a got carded for the same thing. So I don't know why this wasn't a yellow card for the Courage player. Anyway, it's a Courage foul, Pride ball. Not enough patience from the Pride too. They keep giving the ball away. 22 minutes, long ball to the Pride box, Strom back to Nelson. 23 minutes, Martha up for Watt, Watt cross, Adriana temp blocked, Adriana temp again blocked. 24 minutes, Doyle fouled, pride ball. 25 minutes, McCutcheon cross for Watt, deflected back to Murphy. Bad giveaway by Hoffa. Madrill recovers, pride clears. 26 minutes, good recovery by Clough. 27 minutes, Clough fouls, overly aggressive challenge. Courage free kick, pride needs to be careful with these set pieces. 28 minutes, ball sent into the pride box, courage attempt blocked, sent back in, courage attempt goes over. 29 minutes, hydration break. <laughs> All right, so far the Pride is doing all right, but they have to keep possession and control the midfield. They're getting possession, honestly, but they keep giving it away too quickly. They have to be more patient on the ball. They have to be careful with the courage trying to pull them out wide. The Pride is successful defensively when they're tight and compact and when they have that support in the defense. 31 minutes, game starts up again. 32 minutes, Adriana making a run. Still running. She's going all the way. Swerves past Murphy, kind of, and scores. Pride, 2-0. So good by Adriana. Great run. <laughs> all right, Pride, let's keep it up. Defensively, at least. Honestly, I'm just nervous as hell. <laughs> 34 minutes, McCutcheon foul, Courage ball. Good tackles by Watt. Mar um, Martha struggling to win back possession, taken away. Caroline down, no foul, got slammed into by Strom. I'm surprised it's not a foul. Like, I thought it was I thought it was a foul when she went down. And even after seeing the replay, I think it should have been a foul on Strom. But the ref didn't call it. 37 minutes, great tackle by Strom. Good block by Clough. Adriana down, grabbing her thigh. Trainer's out to check on her. She did miss the rain match because of a thigh injury. Adriana coming off, not sure if she'll come back in. It seems like she's coming back in, but will probably be subbed off in the second half. 39 minutes, Adriana back in. It doesn't look like Adriana will be able to continue in the second half just with how she's moving at the moment. 
41 minutes, Martha fouled pride ball, long ball up to Watt and Adriana headed away. Good control by Clough, 42 minutes, ball up for McCutcheon, McCutcheon heads it down, goes out. 43 minutes, Watt takes the ball off Murphy, Courage recovers. 44 minutes, ball to the pride box, Hoffa recovers. Heavy touch to Strom, goes out. Ball sent into the pride box, goes out, ball up to Adriana, kicked away. 5 minutes of added time. 45 minutes, Madrill back to Nelson. Madrill fouled, Pride ball. 46 minutes, Doyle up to Adriana, taken away. <clears throat> Pride foul, Courage ball. That is so weak. <laughs> she she honestly threw herself at Clough. It's like she tripped over her own feet. 47 minutes, Clough fouled now, Pride ball. Wad up to Martha, heavy touch. Martha can't keep it in play. 48 minutes, Courage cross goes wide. Madrill clears. 49 minutes, Courage cross, Madrill fouled in the box, Pride ball. 50th minute, whistle blown, first half ends, Pride 2-0. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this result <laughs> or this scoreline. I thought it was going to be the other way around, but the Pride was able to get an early goal from Watt and a lovely goal from Adriana. I was skeptical of Watt at the start of this match, mainly because she has struggled with her finishing in the past, but she has been great in the attack. She's been aggressive in the attack, dangerous in the box, challenging Casey Murphy, and even dropping back to support the defense. As for the Pride midfield, I've been really impressed with Clough. She's handling pressure really well in the midfield and is providing stability and control in the midfield. However, I want to see the Pride maintain more control and possession. It got better for the Pride as the half went on, but going into the second half, the Pride is needing to make sure they can win back possession and maintain control in order to keep the courage from coming back, which they most likely will. <laughs> uh, when it comes to the backline and defense, the Pride are doing well. There's great support in the defense from the Pride midfield and attack, but the team has to remain tight and compact when the courage tries to pull them out wide. When the Courage pulls McCutcheon and Strom wide on the wings, it opens up the Pride back line. The Pride can get around this by staying tight and compact and getting more Pride players in the box to defend. As for the Pride's counterattacks and transitions, those have been going really well. The Pride are excelling with their recoveries and transitions, and hopefully they can keep it up going into the second half. That all being said, let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. Adriana is still on the field. I would have figured she was going to come off in this half, but I guess she's good to go. 45 minutes, Pride recovers. Pride back line likes to live dangerously. Yeah, don't. 46 minutes, Courage cross deflected. 47 minutes, Courage corner kick. Let's defend this. Ball sent in, headed away. Courage attempt blocked. Watt making a run. Watt attempt saved. Long ball to the Pride box, headed away. 48 minutes, Martha, Doyle. Doyle crossed to Adriana, cleared. Hafaeli up for Clough, kick back to Murphy. 49 minutes, Leistro fouls, I guess. It looks like a 50-50 ball. 50th minute, um, Courage free kick, ball sent towards the pride box, headed away. Martha making a run, off to Clough, Clough attempt, blocked. Martha to Doyle, Doyle cross, kicked away. 51 minutes, long ball to the pride box, Madrill heads it down, Courage recovers. 52 minutes, Courage attempt, Courage scores, Courage 1-2. Why did I think the Pride wouldn't blow this lead? A 2-0 lead. Are you guys really going to let the Courage come back? Like, honestly, defend, attack, do something. 54 minutes, Courage cross, Courage attempt goes wide. Balson into the Pride box, Nelson collects. 55 minutes, Martha fouled, Pride ball. Pride substitution, Watt out, Bright in. 56 minutes, good recovery by Strom. Martha yelling something to Adriana. I don't know. <laughs> Um, 57 minutes, courage attempt, blocked by Clough. 58 minutes, great recovery by Martha and Adriana. Martha up for Doyle, making a run. 59 minutes, Caroline down, trainers out to check on her. She's okay. She took a knock from Martha earlier. 60th minute, Strom up for Bright, tapped out. 61 minutes, pride corner kick, come on pride, headed away. 62 minutes, pride corner kick, headed away. Martha collects, sent back in, headed away. Courage touch, Adriana shielding, making sure it goes out. 63 minutes, Martha corner kick. I mean, pride corner kick. Let's go. Um, it goes past everyone. Strong tap tackle by Hafaeli. Pride substitutions, Doyle and Clef out, Via Corta and Abello in. 
I don't know how I feel about taking out Clough. She's been controlling the midfield way too well. <laughs> 64 minutes, Adriana recovers, making a run. Adriana cross potential handball in the courage box. From the replay, it's a handball. It deflected off of a courage player's hand. And it's the ref isn't giving it. Like, it's clear from the VAR. I swear, the Pride always gets screwed in VAR. Like, honestly, it was a clear hand ball. It touched her hand. 66 minutes, ball kicked back to Nelson. 67 minutes, long ball to the Pride box goes out of play. How was that a foul on Martha? She was trying to get a wave, and two Courage players were on her. Honestly, this ref is terrible. Like, she's been terrible this whole game. 68 minutes, Martha fouled, pulled down, yellow card for Courage Lucy, and Pride ball. 70th minute, long ball to the Pride box, kicked away by Hafaeli. Ball to the Pride box, tapped away. Abello up to Bright, taken away. 71 minutes, ball in the Pride box, McCutcheon recovers, Courage offsides. 73 minutes, Pride recovers, but fouls, Courage ball. 74 minutes, Courage running into the Pride box, Courage attempt goes wide and out. 76 minutes, Pride, bad giveaway, McCutcheon fouls, Courage free kick. Short, ball sent towards the Pride box, kicked away by Strom. 77 minutes, long ball up for Adriana. Adriana making a, ru a run, shoved twice by a Courage player, direct red card for Courage Berkeley, denying a goal-scoring opportunity. They're checking it, and it's a confirmed denial of a goal-scoring opportunity, and the red card stays. Now the Courage are down to 10 players. 79 minutes, pride free kick outside the Courage box. Bright collects, off to Adriana. 80th minute, McCutcheon cross goes out. Come on, Pride. They're only down to 10. Take control and just finish this out. Martha plays it up. Deflected. 81 minutes. Pride corner kick. Hafaeli header, please. Ball sent in. Hafaeli header hits the post. I meant header into the goal. 82 minutes. Strom fouls. <laughs> she was going for the ball. 83 minutes. Strom fouls again. Not sure what for. Courage free kick. Courage header. Nelson saves. Apparently, Seb Hines was given a yellow card. Yeah, I would get one too because this ref's calls or um this ref's calls are stupid, and she needs to know. <laughs> Eighty-seven minutes, McCutcheon to Abello taken away. Martha grab no foul. Finally, um, yellow card for Courage Williams. Um, Eighty-eight minutes, Cur um, Pride free kick outside the Courage box. Ball sent in, headed around, cleared. Apparently, some coaches on the benches have been given yellows, too. I mean, I'm just going by what the announcers are saying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> 89 minutes, Courage cross, frantic defending from the Pride. Ball sent into the Pride box, caught by Nelson. Five minutes of added time. We could be screwed here. 90th minute, Listro down. Trainers out to check on her. 92 minutes, ball to the Pride box. Listro defends it away. Courage cross headed away. 93 minutes. Courage cross headed away. Ref stops play. Courage player Lucy coming off. Bleeding from the head. Collision with Hafaeli. Um, Pride substitutions. Listro and Adriana out. Martinez and Celia in. Great. Some defenders. Let's hold on. Lucy coming back in. She has her head wrapped up and appears to be okay. I don't know. She should have... They should have just kept her off because that... Um, it's a head injury, and it could be something very serious. Anyway, Courage free kick. Um, 95 minutes, five, um, ball sent into the pride box, headed away. 96 minutes, ball to the pride box, kicked away. Martha goes down, Martha fouled, pride ball. Long ball to the Courage box, kicked back to Murphy. 97 minutes, Celia bringing it all the way to the corner flag, goes out. 98 minutes, Martinez brings it all the way to the other corner flag, taken away. Bright attempt blocked, Celia attempt blocked, 99 minutes, whistle blown, second half ends, Pride wins 2-1. This game took 10 years off my life, and I'm definitely writing that in my article. <laughs> anyway, the Pride were finally able to win against the Courage this season. Then again, I don't know when the last time the Pride won against the Courage, or if we ever won against the Courage. It was a dramatic win, but a win nonetheless. Um, it was a tough match, and the win didn't come easy for the Pride, but I'll be honest, the officiating in this match wasn't good. The Pride should have had a penalty kick in the 64th or 65th minute. 
after a clear courage handball in the courage box. Some of the foul calls were also questionable. Um, yeah, many, when it comes to this particular ref, many NWSL fans have expressed their frustration with her over the years. And courage, pride, and <laughs> pride players and coaches, like everybody in this match was expressing their frustrations with her. <laughs> As for the rest of this match, the pride pray played pretty well. The Courage had the most possession in this match, but the Pride was doing really well responding to their runs and services into the box. I admire the Pride's patience, especially when it came to their transitions and counterattacks. They were choosing the right moments to press and transition. There was great movement in the midfield and attack and good support in the attack. Martha was doing especially well with her touches and services. She was creating chances for the attack and was doing well when it came to recovering possession in the midfield. Clough was also doing well in that area. She was controlling the midfield, winning back possession. Watt was providing great drive and intensity in the attack, but also good support in the defense. Lastly, there's Adriana, who appeared to be all over the pitch. One minute she's in the attack, another she's in the defense or midfield. When it comes to the back line and defense, McCutcheon, Madrill, Hafaeli, and Strom were doing well at handling the courage attack and pressure. There was also great support in the defense from the pride midfield and attack, which is something I really like to see. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, no NWSL schedule for this week. We are going into another international break. The U.S. Women's National Team will be playing South Africa Thursday, September 21st and Sunday, September 24th. The NWSL regular season will start up again on Saturday, September 30th. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.